Well, what are they playing at? Let's begin. The article says that a man who has been found guilty of murder and an aspire marine had previously had his asylum claim to Norway rejected before, of course, being accepted into the UK as a child after lying about his age. Loa Gwenin Abd... Oh, here we go. Abdul... Ab that word was found guilty of murdering Thomas Roberts last year. And Abdul... I'll just call him Jeff was accepted into the UK in December 19 after lying to the Home Office that he was aged 14 rather than 18 years old. The court heard that soon after he arrived in the UK, Jeff posted a photo of himself holding a knife and was filmed on another platform assaulting a man. Among other incidents included were getting into street fights for money and assaulting his foster care of the court heard. The court also heard that seven years before he murdered Thomas Roberts, a 13-year-old, Jeff had made his way to Norway before making his way to Italy and whilst there he was convicted of drug dealing and given a non-custodial sentence. Well, of course I don't know about you but I personally think this is absolutely disgraceful. I mean does public safety mean nothing to our government or something like that? Because if he was denied in Norway for obviously killing someone then sh shouldn't that set a few alarm bells ringing? I mean I know it's probably a bit too much to ask but surely the common sense thing to do would be putting the public safety over his asylum claim and I know there'll be some people out there saying but he is an asylum seeker he's been through war and all stuff like that but we don't know I mean he could have been one of these illegal boot people coming over here couldn't he? He may not have been obviously but then again he might have been and of course when I say illegal boot people I don't mean to the genuine refugees who are escaping war. I mean the people who say they are, but are technically not really, because let's face it, they're leaving their family behind, and of course chucking their iPhones in the sea. I mean, if you're a genuine refugee, you wouldn't really do that, would you? And let's not forget as well that this guy apparently also killed two other people beforehand, so obviously that makes him a serial killer, isn't it? So I'm sure any other country would have said, nope, sorry, you can't stay here because of that. Although, of course, I'm guessing this whole situation wouldn't have happened if better criminals records checks and ID checks had taken place. During a trial, the court heard of multiple opportunities and failings in the Home Office, which could have prevented the Roberts murder last year. Under Home Office guidelines, it is stipulated that if an individual looked an adult, then they could be treated as such. While the evidence suggested that Abdu or Jeff was indeed an adult, Officials have reportedly, though, decided to give him the benefit of the doubt, believing that he was actually 18. Sources also added that Jeffrey messed about officials by not attending interviews and delaying the submission of his statement of evidence used to support his asylum claim. And reports suggest that a Menton test was carried out more than two years after he arrived in the UK, and just a month before the murder of Thomas Roberts. The Menton test, also known as the Menton Compliant Assessment, is a form of age assessment used for those wishing to seek asylum in the UK. Well, to be honest, it seems quite apparent that our government probably should have hired the guy in this video, who basically wasn't having any of it. Anyway, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.